guys, today I want to show you how to make a water slide wrap for your glitter pens. If you're new here, my name is Allison and here on this channel I post weekly tutorials to help teach you a new technique and every Thursday I go live. So make sure you subscribe and put on that bell notification so you don't miss those notifications. To make a glitter pen, I already have a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now I'm going to link that right here. So before you watch this video, make sure you watch that video. But in this video, I want to talk about making a water slide wrap. Now, because pens are so small, using water slide decals can be an easy way to add a decal and just make the whole process go a little bit faster. So just remember that you always need to prep your pens by sanding. I've been enjoying spray paint for a base coat. I just think it works better on these Papermate Inkjoy gel pens. I let that dry for 48 hours. I can add my glitter and get it fully smooth. So but when it's fully smooth, you can add your decal. But I do recommend starting the decal process when you start your pens so you can seal your water slide decals and they will be ready when your pen is ready. So if you have questions on sealing your water slides or a little more detail on water slide decals, I'm going to link a video here as well. So we're going to focus on making a water slide wrap for the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. I'm going to be using Silhouette Studio for this, but you could use another program like Design Space or you could even do this in something like Microsoft Word or Google Drive. Let me know in the comments below what software you will be using to make your decals. Let's head over to my computer and get started. So like I said, I'm using Silhouette Studio, but the idea would be the same with whatever software you're using. If you go over to the left side panel and choose the rectangle. You may have like an oval or something, so you might need to ch uh, specifically choose a rectangle. You're gonna start with a rectangle. And then you're gonna change the size. So the width is gonna be 4.625, and the height will be 1.5. This is your um, template for the size of your water slide. You're gonna fill this with whatever you want. So something I like to do, you definitely don't have to do this, but I make it a dotted line and then I make sure that it's at zero or then I make sure it's at like 0.5 so I can see it when it prints. If it's at zero, you'll be able to see it on your screen, but you won't be able to print it. So before I actually go any further, I'm gonna go over to the page setup menu, which is the top right corner, and I'm gonna change this to eight and a half by 11 because that's the size of a water slide, sheet of paper, right? So I can fill up this whole sheet with different designs. So let's say I want to make a Harry Potter um, pen wrap. So all I did was open images and then copy and paste them into my design here in Silhouette Studio. I am just moving them around. Just keep in mind when you do this, your rectangle that you have as your base is going to wrap all the way around your pen. So if you put text on it, you want to make sure it's oriented the right way and just pay attention and you may want to print a test. So you can fill up the entire rectangle with whatever design you want. Remember that this, this is going to wrap like this would be the top of the pencil and this would be the bottom of the pen. So you can orient it however you want. Another example would be to pull in some leopard print or some cow prints and you can type in somebody's name um, and print this out as well. If you want the size of this rectangle to be, you know, smaller, you obviously have that option. You can measure out your pen. Maybe you want it to be a little shorter um, and to see what you like. So my recommendation for you is to fill up the whole page with, with as many designs as you can so you don't waste any paper, right? You can fit two, four, six, you can fit more than that, right, um, on the side here. I'm going to use the rotate tool so I think it's a little easier sometimes. Okay, so I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight designs all on one page. And when you're ready, when it's all filled in, you can go to File, Print, and then put your water slide paper into your printer. 
I have an inkjet printer and I find it works well with photo paper, but you should definitely play around with your settings. And then you need to seal your water slides. If you want a tutorial on how to seal your water slides, I will link that right now. So just as a side note, if you wanted to do this in Google Drive, you can add a drawing and draw yourself a rectangle in shapes, right? Choose a rectangle. And then you can save and close. And then you can change the size over here in size and rotation, if you want it 4.625 and 1.5, you can shake it that way. And then when you go to text wrapping, you wanna wrap text. Um, but here you have your rectangle, of course. You wanna make sure that you have it transparent. You can change the outline to be black or whatever you want, um, but then you can put more images in here. So you can then go to insert image and then you can find whatever pictures you have. You can do the same thing. So again, then you print it and we seal it and then I'll show you how to put it on your pen. After it is printed and sealed, I wait 24 hours, and then I'm just cutting along the inside of that line. Remember that rectangle was just a guide, but we don't actually want to put the rectangle portion on the cup. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is a clear water slide, so you're not gonna be able to see the edges. So like, don't worry too much about it being super straight. So, Dunk it in your water. It usually takes about 45 um, to 60 seconds, depending on the brand. Check your specific brand, and then you can put it on your pen. You wanna get your surface wet first, so just dip your finger and um, get your pen wet before you apply the decal. It'll start separating in the water, so that's when you know it is ready. Um, do your best to leave it, um, to get it straight, of course, um, but just put it on your surface and wrap it around. And then you can either just use your finger or the squeegee tool is what I like to use to get out any water. Then wipe it clean. You can follow up with a few coats of Bright Tone. I usually do about three or four coats of Bright Tone, four hours apart and then you are finished. If you would like to see another pencil tutorial, I've got a pencil pen that I will link for you up on the screen right now.